<laughs> hey guys, it is Kate Tuchel here, and today I will be doing this simple and quick neutral makeup. I was actually on my way to an interview, so let's get started. Okay, I started out with the Black Radiance True Complexion BB Cream. Um, it's really nice. I got it from, um, I believe, Walgreens, and it is um, number 8917 in the color Cafe. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Excuse the designer bags under my eyes. It's been a long week. <laughs> Next, I take my black brown eyebrow pencil and go ahead and fill those bad boys in. Uh, as you see, I got the little dolphin fin at the top. Please excuse that. I really need to arch my eyebrows. But yeah, I go ahead and fill in my brows. Try to clean that up a bit. Then I use my mascara brush to go ahead and fill in my brows and blend it in. And the people's eyebrow. <laughs> Next I use the Black Radiance True Complexion Cream Contour Palette. I found this at Walgreens as well and if you notice they have a little guide on the inside if you're a novice such as myself. Um, yeah, just to give a disclaimer, I am in no way, shape, or form a professional. I'm just a girl that likes to play in makeup. <laughs> but I take the Sculpt palette in the middle and use it for my brows. And I use my fingers to blend in around my brows because I'm afraid when I use a beauty blender, it'll mess up my brows. And I work really hard on my eyebrows, <laughs> if you haven't noticed already. Next, I use the Love and Beauty Eyeshadow Primer from Forever 21. You can usually find this like near the checkout counters or like in the accessory section, all depending on your store. And I take that and apply that to my lids. Next, I use the 28 Neutrals Palette from Coastal Scents. And um, these colors didn't really have a name. But uh, the one I'm using for my base is like a taupe kind of color. And I apply that all over my lid. Someone ended up calling me while I was trying to use my second color. But this is the second color that I used. And I put this along my lash line and on the edges of my eyes and also in the crease. I didn't want to go too dramatic with the makeup since I was headed to an interview, but these colors actually worked out really nice. Alright, and next I'm using this glittery brown here to put in the middle here as a transition color. Very subtle, yet the ending result was very cute. And here I went back with my contour palette. 
Um, it's a different one from the Black Radiance one. I actually got it off Wish. I didn't show it in this video because it's like super old and the like the lid is cracked and this color that I'm using is just about gone I kind of had to scrape to get it <laughs> but um, I use this to clean my eyebrows up even more I'm I'm very finicky about my eyebrows <laughs> so yeah I just went back and cleaned up my brows with this For some reason I had a hard time getting it into focus with this is also from LA Colors liquid eyeliner and I'm going to take that and line my eyes I've really like fallen in love with the cat eye so I've been trying my best to perfect it I think I'm getting pretty good And this is also from LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara. For some reason, I had a terrible time trying to get this stuff into focus. But um, I was going to add lashes, but due to time constraints, I wasn't able to. So this mascara does me perfect every time. And of course, I add to the top and bottom of my lashes and everything. My daughter actually saw me yesterday and she asked, were these my eyelashes? <laughs> so apparently I must be doing something, right? And back to our Black Radiance Contour Palette. I followed the guide here and um, I used all three shades to highlight and contour my face. Like, I love the highlight here it's like oh my gosh it's so beautiful and I took a smaller brush to uh, highlight my cupid's bow and then just took my beauty blender and blended in everything All right, I ended up pointing to the wrong thing. We're actually gonna use the Sculpt palette right here to go under that highlight and for our nose, for the sides of the nose. And we're gonna go ahead and blend that in. As you see, I was using the guide like heavy <laughs> to make sure I did it right. All right, check me out, check me out. <laughs> and now we contour. Then we go right under where we sculpted. And also contour the hairline and the jawline. And once again, we blend. All right, next we are going to line our lips. I actually, well, I got this from my sister. She got a set of these off Amazon. Um, and now we're going to line our lips. I was going for somewhat of an ombre kind of color. And um, excuse the dry lips. I'm not sure why my lips were so dry, but uh, yeah, you, you, you get the point. <laughs> yeah, we're going to continue to line our lips. Then I decided to double back and um, line my eyes real quick. And um, this eye, this eyebrow pencil, I mean the eyeliner is um, called Radiant Black and I got this from the local beauty supply. And now I'm going to use my Milani Matte Lip Gloss and this is number 30 in Honey. Did I say lip gloss? I meant lipstick, my apologies. <laughs> 
gonna take that and rub it in rub 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 and this is the finished product excuse the hair I know it's a little frizzy but yeah quick easy and very pretty thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to like comment and subscribe if you like what you see for more videos till next time guys Mwah. <laughs>